Yo, what is good, my guys? It's your boy, Reefy, and I'm back with another how-to video. Now, some time ago, I showed how to use an Elgato capture card along with OBS to record gameplays from a console, but today in this video, I'm going to be showing you something different. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to record your gameplay and webcam footage separately. I mean, technically, you're not recording them separately, but you're splitting them up to make it look like you're recording them separately, so... For game capture software, I like to use OBS Studio, and as for video editing software... I use Adobe Premiere Pro, so let's get this tutorial started. So what you're gonna wanna do is open OBS Studio, obviously. Now, the reason why you're seeing this screen right here is because I'm recording my screen itself, so it looks like it's just going over to infinity. Now, the standard size for a video is 1920 by 1080. The trick to doing this is to double the width of the video, which is 1920. When you double it, you get 3840, so the size would be 3840 by 1080. Now, to do that, what you're gonna wanna do is go to video, Go to settings, go to video right here, and you see this base canvas resolution. Change this to 3840 by 1080. I can't change it currently because I'm actually recording right now. You can't change the size of the video while you're recording it. So I'll just come back to when I when I have it at the right size. Okay, now as you can see, the width is doubled, making the size 3840 by 1080. Now, what you would do is have your webcam on one side. And have your gameplay on another side. So basically, your webcam will be taking up half the video while your gameplay will be taking the other the other half. Me personally, I like to have my webcam on the left side and my gameplay on the right. Now you can't see my webcam right now, but it is on. The reason why you can't see is because I have the display capture in front of it. And if I were to close the display capture or hide it, then it would kind of do weird things with the recording, like it would hide the screen recording itself because I'm recording my screen. So yeah. To record it, you would go down here to controls and press start recording. It says stop recording for me because I'm recording my screen right now. So yeah, that's pretty much how you would record it. Now to take it into Premiere Pro to split the webcam and the gameplay footage. Okay, now that we're in Premiere Pro, I'm going to show how to split the footage up to make it look like you're recording your webcam and gameplay separately. I already have some footage pre-recorded, so I'm just going to put that into this timeline right here right now. To do that, what you're going to want to do is go to file, go to import. And here's the video I recorded right here. I'm just going to click on that, click on open. I'm just going to drag it onto the timeline. Now, as I stated, the standard size for a video is 1920 by 1080. This is definitely not 1920 by 1080. So we're going to shrink it to make it 1920 by 1080. So what you're going to want to do is go to sequence, click on sequence settings and frame size. Go to frame size right here. For this part where it says frame size, change this to 1920 and just leave it at 1080 for the for the height okay now as you can see it's too big to fit in this little window right here so here's what we're gonna do see this little tab that says effects click on that click on this little search bar right here click on crop and this effect right here crop click it and drag it to the video now you're gonna want to go to effect controls right take these little sliders and play around with them for this, we're going to have this as our gameplay footage, if that makes any sense. That seems confusing, but it will make sense. What you're going to want to do is click this little percentage on the left right here and change it to 50%. Now you're going to take this and just drag it so it fits in the frame. Now, for the webcam part, what you're going to want to do is duplicate this. So you're going to duplicate it by holding down the Alt if you're on Windows. I believe it's Command if you're on Mac. So you're going to click on this. Go back to the effects panel, change the left to zero, and then change the right to 50%. Now it's not showing right now because it's outside the frame, so I'm just going to drag it over real quick. And here we go. Here's my webcam footage. Now I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. And there you go. You can hide it if you want, hide your webcam footage. You could take the razor tool and cut out parts of the webcam footage if you want. See, I can just cut it out right here, and it won't be in this part of the video. See? So, yeah, that's pretty much it on how to record your gameplay and webcam separately. So, yeah, actually, there's also one thing I want to show. So when I played through Resident Evil, I made it so that my webcam was in a little circle. How I did this was I went to the effect controls right here on the crop and click the circle mask right here. Now, this little blue circle, you're going to want to move it over your webcam footage, right? Just like this. And then you can play around with the size if you want to circle, elliptical, webcam, or whatever. You do that. Now, 
how I did it, how I got it within this little circle right here is because I clicked inverted. And then these little sliders right here, I took the top one, dragged it, moved it all the way to 100%. And yeah, that's how I did it. Now with this, I could change the size of it whenever I want. You can do a bunch of other things you can do, like change the color on it. Like I said, you can hide it, cut out certain webcam parts or whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much, you know, how to record your webcam and gameplay separately. I really hope I was able to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. If I was able to help you out, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and add me on Discord as well. And also, join my Discord server. All that's going to be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope I, I really hope I was able to help you out. And yeah, you guys take care. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Looking cool, Joe. 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 Looking cool, Joker.